Hello there, this is Artifact049, and there's another GIMP tutorial. This one's a bit different from my text effects one, so I said, you know, might as well just take a break from all the texting and text effects. So, just give you a little tutorial on how to make someone look bald on GIMP. Now, this is just a preview of what I've just been messing around with and doing. I came up with this, and basically, as you can see, it's, really, it's only one layer, pretty much. And I use a layer mask, and an airbrush tool. Oh, and the eyedropper tool, which is the most useful, the color picker. These are only three things I use to make this, pretty much. Maybe even the eraser for some things. Let's get started. This is the original image, right here. So you can see the difference between these two. Yep, so what we're going to do now is remove the hair. So let's just close that off. Go back. Right. We've got this layer now. So what we want to do first of all we want to get the color picker tool now this basically selects colors from an image so if I click there the foreground comes up with the color of what I picked so that's the color of our skin I'm gonna pick one color and then I'm gonna change my foreground back to that one and pick another maybe darker shade like that now I'm gonna go over to airbrush tool and this is like a really useful thing for painting the pressure changes, so as you hold on to it, the longer you hold on to it, the higher the pressure gets. It's really good for like doing this sort of skin texture, skin tone. So we're going to have the opacity set at 70, and the scale of about 60, point zero, 0 0.6. I'm just going to drag this along her hair. She has a rough outline of her head. I'm just going to make sure to get the right shape of her head as it goes back. Make sure everything's like that. It's just really rough outline. Remember to go behind the ear as well. The ear. Don't really mess with that one. Don't try and try not to airbrush anything. I don't want to get airbrushed. It's basic outline of her hair. Her head. That's basically the shape of her head right now. Remember to remove this little strand of hair. Just get rid of that. Don't worry if it looks. It doesn't. Don't worry if the skin tone doesn't match with the rest of it. We'll come to that in a second. What we need to do is get the shape of the image. Once you've got the shape of her head, you want to add a layer mask. And to do this, you right click on the layer and click Add Layer Mask. Click White to full opacity, Add. Now you can see this comes up with a layer mask right next to the image. You need to click on that layer mask and get your brush tool, your paintbrush. This, I use a fuzzy brush to make things smoother pass the at full and select your foreground to black. Now what this does is, as you can see it's covered in white. Basically a layer mask is when it's white it's opaque and when it's black it's transparent. So what I can do now is bring my black brush over this head and it will be transparency. It's pretty much like an eraser but it works better because you can edit the image afterwards. I'm just going to get rid of all the hair on her head. Or if it's not. So, now we've got our hair, we want to, you know, add a bit more depth into this head. So you want to just, oh sorry, what? remember to, whenever you have a layer mask, remember to click back on the image, or it will just write on the layer mask. So, get my eyedropper tool back, my color picker, and select a light area on her head, a light area. I'm sort of brushing the top, you know, the light will be shining off the head. So, uh, don't really worry if you go out the lines, because the layer mask will prevent you from actually going on it since it's transparent in the end, so sort of cover the head with color. Okay, that's her head pretty much covered in that. Now I can see the more distinct bumps on the head, but don't worry about that. You can always just try and just a really fine point that. Yeah, so, um, get back to my airbrush tool, my color picker tool, sorry. I'm going to pick a little darker area on her face, like, for example, this little red area here, should be red. I'll click, that. click on that area. I'll get my airbrush tool and just want to fill this area in now. Just get it looking 
a little bit. You can change your past if you want as well, because it means a lot if you change your past. I'm going to work into that area, so now I'm just going to get my, select this dark area here below. You know, maybe get the past down a bit more, just brush that bit up and just move in. Make little blotches around the face, because usually, you know, has a nice effect. Don't don't be annoyed if you have to undo it a lot because you know that really happens. Get my color picker tool, you know, so like it's quite a lot of going back to the colors and you know, editing the face to make sure it looks as realistic as you can get it. I just got little blotches on the face where you know the head kind of curves in and I have like a little shadow there going around. A little darker in this area behind the ear. Just get my color picker back. It's like a little shadow there. Just bring it right around right here. Shadows get a shadow there. Yep. Hmm, she looks a bit weird. Yep, so that's basically how you can make someone bald in GIMP. I know it's not exactly the best I've ever done. And I can do with some tweaking like from here and there and we make some. Get a more 3D effect, which is making some shadow on the head. It looks a bit more as if it's sort of smudging now. Just mix the colors and mix the colors and remember that. Just keep mixing them around, and you will get sort of skin texture that is familiarly known. So yeah, that's uh, me pretty much done. Just gonna get back a light texture like there. Just get out sparring because it looks a bit out of place. Area. Yep. Thank you for watching. Great comment, subscribe.